Good morning, everyone. My name is Federico Flores, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Warwick in Coventry, United Kingdom, under the supervision of Professor Peter B. O'Connor. Professor O'Connor's research is centered around Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometry, or FT SCRMS, and it deals with instrumentation building, instrumentation and method development, and applications of FT SCRMS to proteomics and petroleumics. At the moment, I'm in our research facility, the Warwick Ion Cellular Resonance Laboratory, to talk about our most used instrument, the Brooker 12 Tesla Solarix mass spectrometer, or as we like to call it, the Solarix. The Solarix is equipped with ESI and MALDI sources, with an infinity cell as mass analyzer detector, and it has ECD, ETD, and CAD fragmentation capabilities. We further implemented it with a nano electrospray source and a CO2 laser for multi photon dissociation. Uh, we use the Solarix to challenge the limits of FTI CRMS itself, both in practice and in theory, and in order to obtain the best from FTI CRMS technology. I personally use it for the development of a technique called two dimensional Fourier transform mass spectrometry, which is a technique that allows the analysis, actually the mass spectrometric analysis of complex mixtures without any sort of separation before the fragmentation in the mass spectrometer. For example, separation such as chromatography. And at the moment, I'm applying uh, to the FTA CRMS to the top down analysis of proteins, but through some collaboration even to glycans and polymers. The research done with the Solarix spaces from characterization of biomolecules for medical applications to protein aging, studying those post-transitional modifications that uh, only the high resolving power of the FTI CRMS can allow to detect, for example, such as the amidation, to cancer research, studying those interactions between anti-cancer drugs and polypeptides, for example. We also use it for the for the test of novel ionization sources, and through the supervision of, prof of Dr. Mark Barrow uh, for analysis of crude oils for petroleumics. This laboratory was equipped with the Solarix uh, in 2010, and since then, at least 20 people among PhD students and research fellows have benefited of it. To these numbers, we have to add uh, at least two collaborators per year, this is on average, and three to five master and undergraduate students per year. I personally love the Solarix for the possibilities of research that we can do with that and for the amazing, and the amazing quality of data that we, allow, we actually obtain on a daily routine. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation and greetings from Federico and all the PBO group to Masses for the Masses. Bye.